Hey guys, Matt here. So this will be a relatively quick video. I don't have a whole lot to talk about this week, but I mean, I couldn't let this massive downturn go go by without telling you guys. Like, I I got absolutely wrecked this week. I mean, just to, just today alone, I think everyone got wrecked. Almost the entire stock market got wrecked, with the exception of a few key stocks. But like the massive downturn, like. The stock market dropped a thousand points. The, well, the Dow dropped a thousand points today. The Nasdaq dropped almost 500 points, and S&P 500's down. Russell's down, and I lost two twenty three hundred dollars in one day. And we are down seven point five five percent. We are down five thousand, almost five fifty five hundred dollars. And yeah, it's just gonna get worse and worse from here. So Jackson made a speech and. The, the TLDR is that the rate hikes are not going to stop. They're going to keep going on. And honestly, and in my opinion, I, I kind of want it to keep happening because we all know the, the Fed, you know, caused a lot of this when, when they, they refused to, to address inflation back when it was building. They called it transitory. And so, yeah, the Fed caused all this, but the fact that the Fed is trying to do something about this, if this is the, if this is the thing that's going to eventually get the economy back on its feet, if this is the thing that's supposed to happen, then I say give us a pain now, and, you know, however, however long it takes for us to get through this, we'll get through it. Now, one of the good pieces of news out of all of this is that the market is so has been down for so long on such a widespread scale that... Most of the stocks that you're into are probably on sale now. They've probably been on sale for months and months, and in some cases, a year and a half or more. And they will probably continue to be on sale until this economy gets back to normal. And yeah, I mean, last year, yeah, I did think that, that the economy would be better today. But now, I don't know. It may not be better today. It may not be better this year. It may not be better next year. But what I'm saying is that as long as you keep putting money regularly into into your stocks, as long as they're good companies, positive cash flow, or have a really good story behind it, once the economy rightens, if the you know, we're, I mean, as long as we don't go into an apocalypse, the economy will eventually righten at some point, and all that money that you're putting into these stocks, I mean, you will benefit from it in the long run. Now, as far as the moves I made, Monday I bought Google, and Wednesday I bought. SCHD. And that's that's pretty much my strategy going forward is I'm going to be focusing so every month, so every month I put three grand into the, the Fidelity portfolio. And then every week, every Monday, I put 300 bucks into a growth stock. And every Wednesday or Thursday, I put 300 bucks into a value stock. And for the time being, I'm going to keep putting money into Google. And as far as my value stock, I'm going to keep putting money into SCHD. Now, if Revolve keeps dropping, because Revolve is one of the ones that I think have a very strong cash flow, very strong growth ahead. But I only put 650 bucks into the stock. So if Revolve keeps dropping, especially in the 20, I may have to pivot and start putting money into that. Now, putting more money into Jibo is an option. But what I'm trying to what I'm trying to focus on now, my main strat, is to focus my money on, on cash flow positive companies. And Jibo's got a great story, but Jibo is not cash flow positive, especially not right now. But anyways, take care, have a great day, and eat your vegetables.